Hey there, Spark fans. Over here. How many times have you meticulously planned a project and gotten halfway through building and soldering it only to realize that you want to change your mind and go a completely different direction and use a different processor? That changes the scope of your software and it also means you have to update your power budget, your system schematics, and it all takes a lot of technical time. That's why we here at SparkFun have built Micromod to give you autonomy over your projects and to help you iterate over your designs with ease. You can customize your boards with whatever carrier and process board suits you at that time, and you don't have to worry about the additional time it might take to swap it all out. We're ever expanding the lineup of Micromod here and making it so that you can dream up any sort of configuration. That's why I'm super excited to present to you two new additions to the Micromod family, the Weather Carrier Board and the Micromod NRF 52840 processor board. Let's take a closer look at the details. Has your head been in the clouds lately? Well, at least the Micromod Weather Carrier Board can help you gather data about those clouds, even if you can't get out of them. It includes three sensors. First, the BME 280 Temperature, Pressure, and Humidity Sensor, the VEML 6075 UV Light Sensor, and also the AS3935 Lightning Detector. Furthermore, it comes with a three-pin latch terminal to add additional peripherals like an external soil moisture sensor, or a pair of RJ11 jacks to plug in wind and rain sensors from our weather meter kit. Plus, there's a micro SD card to log all that wonderful data. The NRF52840 processor board features the NRF52840 system on chip from Nordic Semiconductor. It has an ARM Cortex M4 CPU, one megabyte internal flash for all of your program and file storage needs, 256 kilobytes internal RAM for your stack and heap storage, and 2.4 gigahertz radio with support for Bluetooth Low Energy, Bluetooth 5, ANT if you want to turn the device into a heart rate or exercise monitor, and Nordic's proprietary RF protocol so that you can securely communicate with other Nordic devices. The Micromod NRF 52840 has these specific peripherals available. Three UARTs, the primary one is tied to a USB interface, and the other two are hardware UARTs, two I2C buses, two SPI buses, in which the second one can be primarily used for flash IC, PDM audio processing, two analog inputs, two dedicated digital I.O. pins, two dedicated PWM pins, and 11 general purpose I.O. pins. That's a lot of punch packed into this processor board. So, instead of using a variety of weather sensors and piecing them together with breadboard and jumper wires or daisy chaining them with quick, the sensors already come on board the weather carrier board. And I can swap out the processor without worrying about changing any other physical components of the project. Nordic Semiconductor has a really neat app called NRF Connect, which connects and communicates with Bluetooth low energy devices like the NRF 52840 processor. So let's use that processor with the weather carrier board and see if we can send some really basic temperature readings using BLE. The engineers at SparkFun developed a script that sends sensor data from the BME280 to the NRF Connect app. This includes setting a local name for the BLE device, in this case temperature reading, and then connecting to the app. If the app is connected, the stat LED on the processor should turn on and the code will output connected to central. It will then push updates to the app about current temperature readings. I'm interested in seeing what other IoT applications we can implement with the weather carrier board, maybe using Wi-Fi and the ESP32. While it's nice to display temperature readings to an app, I think it'd actually be really cool to cross-reference the data that I'm collecting with a local weather report. Sort of a check your weatherman kind of app that keeps him in line because he isn't always right. You see, I live in some nestled hills, and so the weatherman's prediction for the general city isn't always spot on for my exact location, probably because I live in a microclimate. So I'd like to read weather in from an API and compare it to the data values I'm getting from the weather carrier board just to see if the weatherman is spot on. Let's give it a try. Since the ESP32 has Wi-Fi capabilities, I'll swap out the processors real quick and begin building the app. First things first is to utilize a weather API, and I've chosen Open Weather Map. 
All you need to do is sign up an account with them and you'll get an API key that can be copied into your code like I've done here with a dummy account. You also need to fill in the Wi-Fi network name and password into the code. The code will make API calls to gather the temperature and humidity levels and compare it to the actual readings from the weather carrier board. If I had a weather station, I could compare wind and rain values to the API as well. And then it will tell me if the weatherman is right or not and display all the data. A quick change to the processor and this is an entirely new project. Maybe the world has always told you that it's not a good idea to change your mind. When you're driving, it isn't exactly great to start going left when you were already going right. At a restaurant, it isn't ideal to say that you want to put in a new order right when they set the food down in front of you. But here at SparkFun, we're telling you that it's okay, you know, it's great for you to change your mind with your electronics project. Micromod makes it so easy to swap out carriers and processor boards, and there are no hassles or consequences about changing your mind, so just let your ideas run free. We're super excited about the new lineup of the Micromod family with the weather carrier board and the NRF52840 processor board. So pick them up, fill out your Micromod family at home, and start experimenting. Happy swapping, happy mind changing, and happy hacking. While reading temperature data to an app is cool, it's not what I'm trying to say. Board, the weather board carrier. The weather board carrier? What's the weather board carrier? It's the weather carrier board. Here we go. This is a take two. Micromod weather board carrier today. Oh my god, that was very close. Okay, the wind has died down a bit, so it's a prime time to finish this off. But I realized I did not have them in hand, so we'll try again. That might have been it, I think. We'll see.